Okay, here's another tip. I know uh, if you just watched that last segment, if you notice, the uh, trailer is hanging on the hook just like we used to do pork. I'm not an advocate of putting your uh, trailer up on the hook chain, and here's why. I'm going to put it on the hook shank, which is the popular way that many people like to do it. You know, and that's the way you like to fish it. That's fine, but I want to show you the difference in how this looks on the bottom. Notice the trailer does not set up as high as it does when it's hanging like a piece of pork, so you don't get as much action. And, you know, if you need your bait more compact, then bite some of the head off of the port. But see, the, the uh, trailer doesn't float up as high as it would as if it's hanging on the hook. You see the difference? And then the other thing, too, is actually when that's coming through the water, the head actually blocks do that right here you see there's very little movement of the trailer that's because the head's blocking the water flow off of it see that okay now I'm gonna show you the difference I'm gonna take this back off and hang it just like a wood regular old pork like we used to do. This Down to this one. You see how much higher that floats? But then watch as we I'm gonna pull it along. See how much wider the the tails on that spread out and move? Got a lot more movement hanging on the hook and most importantly right there you, you can't get that type of action when it's on your hook chain so that's just a little tip I know that it's all the vogue to uh, put that up on your hook chain and I understand about it making you know you're trying to make your bait look more compact but you just you don't have that action there when it's on your hook chain. You can see the difference. It's awesome. Thank you, Bill.